welcome to Antenna by Panda. Today I will be testing a new device which is an RF vector impedance analyzer. The name of the device is N121SA by AAI Technologies or Agility Accuracy Instrument. So the build of the device is good, uh, pretty solid. It's using an SMAK connector, female, on the RF port, which is used to measure the uh, BSWR impedance and other antenna parameters. At the bottom side, we have two USB port. One is micro USB. The other one is for charging the mini USB. We also have the reset button. So, I will be comparing this with the performance of SX400 SWR meter connected to the IAEC 2900. So, first let's check the performance of the vector impedance analyzer. So, I will be connecting this with a patch cable. Patch cable is using a SMA mail connected to the PL259 end. So, This is the coaxial cable connected to the antenna pit point of the four element Chagi. So let's connect this. At the RF port of the impedance analyzer. So I will be turning it off first, just in case. And turning it on. So this is the antenna I'm selling on Antenna by Panda. It's a four element uh, Yagi center at 145 megahertz amateur frequency. So let's see the performance of that antenna using the vector analyzer so let's just uh, check the single frequency response first at 145 megahertz the center frequency so we can move the dial by pressing the cursor buttons so let's check 145 so at 145 megahertz the BSWR response is 1.1 SWR so let's check the other frequency on the amateur band or let's say 140 to 150 megahertz so let's check the 140 first at 140 it's 1.4 uh, or 1.5 141 is 1 1.5, 142 is 1 1.5, 143 is 1.43, 144 is 1 1.2, 145 is 1 1.1, 146 is 1 1.3, 147 is 1 1.6, 148 is 1 1.7, 
149 is 1.7 and 150 is 1.5 so let's check the BSWR carb by pressing the M button so as we can see here we are on the S11 uh, carb reading so what we want to do is check the BSWR so let's press that and move the dial to select the BSWR card. Uh, first, let me show you that the center frequency or mark frequency is 145, the center. The starting frequency is 140 uh, of our SWR reading and the ending frequency is 150 MHz. So we need to change, change the S11 to uh, VSWR so let's press OK yeah that's the dial so what we can see here is at 145 megahertz the bottom carb we have 1.1 SWR so actually across the band let's move the dial so that we can check the other frequencies so we are now on 145 what we need to do is to select ok and move the cursor button at the bottom of the carb so as we can see when we move the dial we are actually moving the cursor so on 140 MHz the, pre the SWR is around 1.5 or 1.4 as we progress going to amateur band from 142 it's one point. 143 is 1.4 144 is 1.2 145 is 1.1 146 is 1.3 147 is 1.6 and so on so this is the uh, frequency sweep analysis of the four element antenna for element Yagi antenna so let's just zoom the carb by moving the cursor to multiplier so let's check that as we can see here the multiplier selected is currently at times 0.5 setting so <coughs> okay and move the dial so that is uh, the, the biggest setting on the multiplier multiply multiplier function so as we set it higher it actually zoom out so zooming in we need to set that to smaller multiples so times 0.2 and let's move to 145 megahertz move the dial to 14 select ok move the cursor to 145 As we can see here, the lowest dip on this WR card is 1.1. So let's compare it with the SX400. So I will be removing the coaxial cable and connect it to the back of.
So, let's set this aside. Connect the coaxial cable to the back of SX400. Connected to the Yaesu 2900. So let's check the frequency response given by SX400 and compare it to the N121SA antenna analyzer. So my Yaesu is currently set at 144 so let's move it to 145 megahertz. So I'm testing on high power. So let's recalibrate the SWR. As we can see here, we have full deflection on the SWR dial. So it's on calibrate position. Switch to SWR mode and let's see. So as we can see here, we have 1.1 SWR on 145 megahertz. Let's check 140 and progressing to 150. 140, let's recalibrate. Adjust the dial until we got full deflection. So move to SWR position. We have 140 is 1.6 SWR. 141. So let's recalibrate. Adjust the dial again. One four one. School deflection. SWR mode. 1.6 let's move to 142 let's recalibrate we have full deflection SWR still 1.6 143 We have pull deflection. Move to SWR. So we have 1.4 on 143. Let's check 144. Let's recalibrate. Adjust the dial until we got full deflection. So 144, move to SWR mode. So we have one point, uh, almost 1.2 on 144. 1 1.2 SWR. Let's check 145. We already checked this before. So let's recalibrate. Move to SWR position. We have 1.1. Let's check 146. Let's recalibrate. So 146. Switch to SWR mode. It's 1.5 or 1.4 is WR. Let's check 147. Let's recalibrate again. We have pull deflection. Move to SWR mode. We have 1.7. 1.7 on 
148 we have full deflection it's around 1.8 SWR on 148, 149. SWR mode, it's about 1.8 or 1.7, 150. So SWR mode, as we can see it also dropped to 1.5 again, same as the one shown on the Vector Impedance Analyzer N121SA. So thank you for watching, I hope that I uh, show you the accuracy of the N121SA RF Vector Impedance Analyzer which is actually pretty accurate for our purpose the advantage is this actually covers VHF to 2.7 gigahertz on the Wi-Fi frequency band so I think uh, price to performance ratio that is actually very good investment so thank you for watching